Are we live? Boom, shaka, laka, hello and welcome to another episode of Game Hammer Live. Hopefully everything is working. It's a bit of a mess today because, well, isn't that how we always like it? Hello everyone and I hope you're doing well. We have in the chat Anthony Lee Dickinson and of course Sir Patrick Furlong who says, if you're happy and you know it, play Dizzy. Of course we have to play Dizzy. That will... That will actually happen at some point. Will it be today? Who knows? So, it's been a while since I actually had a chance to do a live show. It's been uh, one of those situations. Took a bit of a break. And the reason I did that is uh, I wanted to uh, refocus on what we were actually going to be doing. And it's just how it was. I had to take a bit of time, step back and think, how can we make this uh, show as good as it can be? Well, I... Lockdown is lifting, and uh, that means that most people are starting to get back to normal. So I thought the best thing we could do is uh, let them, because uh, that's how it is. <laughs> oh, what am I talking about? <laughs> and and uh, as a result, of that I wanted to focus on uh, trying to condense the show into one weekly thing. And hopefully that's going to work. So what we've got here... Have you been locked in the cupboard, says Hansley Dickinson. Well, it feels like a cupboard sometimes. I think I've shown this room before, but let me show the room that I'm in. I've got the webcam here. Hello. So it does feel like a cupboard from time to time because this is the doorway. And uh, there is the other side of the room. And I can practically reach it from where I am because there is no space in here. I added a set of shelves after the last live stream just to put the computers on and already I've got so much stuff going on in here that the shelves are full and I where if it, there's the camera that the shelves are full and it's just one of those situations I'm going to put this back uh, on the top of the computer because that's probably the best place to leave it for right now anyway let's move back over to the main camera there we are which kind of doesn't work with my hat on because it makes me put uh, in a bit of shadow but let's have a look at the retro news so if i bring up the other screen here we are indie retro news now i do like to have a look at this site because it's uh, one of the better ones for explaining what's going on with uh, the retro community and the first thing that came up when i was having a look this morning was exhumed slash power slave an egyptian themed fps makes its way onto the amiga this looks pretty damn good i mean look at this picture Let's see if I can zoom that in a bit so you get to see it a bit better. That's actually quite sweet. It's got a nice bit of texture. It's a very much a Doom or Wolfenstein clone. I mean, of course it is. That's uh, the kind of level that uh, you're at when you do an Amiga. Because, uh, like it or not, it's all tech now. I really wish it wasn't. I really You can't even see me, can you, if I'd leave my hat on. I'll take the hat off. You can leave your hat on. No, you can't. The lighting doesn't work. <laughs> So we've got uh, nice texturing. It looks pretty good. Does it move smoothly? That is the question, of course. So let's see if I can find a bit of footage of it. Yes, I knew there was footage. So let's bring this up. Anti Dickinson says, I played Ex Exhumed. It was great. Excellent. So let's have a look at full screen. No, we don't want full screen. I'd like it a bit bigger than that, though. Here we go. Lobotomy software. <laughs> Let's have a look at this game. There is no way that's on an Amiga. And yet it is. Wow. That's actually some demo level coding there. That looks pretty good. So uh, Anthony says he played the PS1 version. Okay, if this is running on an actual Amiga, then I'm amazed at the speed. Yeah, we're, we're looking at uh, flat flat sprites for the uh, enemies, which you would expect, and flat sprites for the uh, the main character as well, actually. So that's pretty good. Let's have a look at uh, a bit more. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to jump forward a little bit. This looks very, very fast from my, from my point of view. It's, so this isn't Wolfenstein. This is, a, this is like an enhanced Doom clone because you're looking up and down as well. Or maybe the build engine? 
Yeah, Patrick says probably a 1200 with lots of memory and an accelerator. An accelerated 1200 is pretty much what I was getting at. There's no way this is running on a 500. <laughs> but I like it. This is good. This is good stuff. And I think we need to, to see that. So when that comes out, I'll be picking up a copy. Of, well, at least I'll try. Uh, installation. The game can, data can be obtained from this site. Uh, support public betas of the game. We have to copy a load of stuff around, so we'll see what happens when I do that. I will try that, and we'll see what happens. But, yeah, that is an... It looks amazing, and I'm really, really impressed by the speed of it. But this is the other one that I wanted to know about. Flashback 2? Or Flashback Squared? We already had a sequel to Flashback uh, back in the, the 90s, uh, Fade to Black. I've got it on PlayStation I can see it from where I'm sat. So, I don't I don't get it. Are they just... Uh, what can I say? Um, how can I say this uh, nicely? Are they, are they declaring that non-canon? Or is this like a sequel to Fade to Black? But I don't get it. Uh, publishing a sequel to Flashback is a real horror for Stefan Lungau, CEO of Microids. We are super excited to offer the fans a sequel to this masterpiece of the French video game history. And Microsoft Flare, blah, 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 blah. Developing a sequel to Flashback is an idea I've had for a very long time. I can't wait for players to discover the new adventures of Conrad Hart, a character created almost 30 years ago. Yeah, um, we already had the sequel. We already had the sequel. So, this sounds an awful lot like they're going to move away from... How can I put it? Away from the Fade to Black and, like, that never happened. Flashback, then Flashback 2. I'll wait and see what happens with that. I don't like the idea of just declaring the other game non-canon. But if they do it well, then we'll go with it. But uh, it's kind of hit and miss on whether it will happen. And uh, where was the other one I wanted to talk about? Here we are. Space Panic. Now, <laughs> how can I put this? Space Panic is one of those classic arcades that everyone who had an Amstrad has either heard of or played, but not by its original name. This is Roland Goes Digging. And it's one of my favourite Roland games. I absolutely adore Roland Goes Digging. But it's not an original game. It's Space Panic. <laughs> Patrick says, never realised Fade to Black was a sequel. Yeah, that would be a good reason for not uh, considering it canon. I'll give you that. <laughs> Chief 89 says, awesome, awesome hour. I just got the YouTube alert also, but have to go. Generally, though, Wednesdays this hour, great to watch for me too. Brilliant. Thanks very much, Chief 89. Hope you're doing well. It's good to see you again. Like I'm saying, Space Panic, it was one of those great games that we, we all enjoyed on the Amstrad. The Commodore never got to play it. So now we're getting a C64 version, and it actually looks pretty good. Now, it's not not quite the way I remember it from Roland Goes Digging, of course, but I think it'll do quite well, and I'm looking forward to giving that a try as well. I think that was the only one I really wanted to talk about. Uh, except, of course, the fact that we do have a new game, uh, game Hammer did release a new game, and it's, uh, a, well, <coughs> oh my goodness, the moment I switch the camera, I start to uh, choke. Uh, Nova Bug in Spectrum World, I think we've all had a chance to play it, but uh, if we haven't, we will give it a try when I can remember where I put my copy. It's one of those days, and everything's gone missing, and it's just, ah, why is this happening to me, man? Come on. I don't know where I where my own copy is. That's that's just how it is. Nova bug. Do a search for that on my Mac and see if I can find it. I want to give it. I want to show you it. Uh, I think we've all played it. I hope we've all enjoyed it. And nope, it's not showing up. I appear to have lost my own copy of Nova Bug in Spectrum World. Oh, there it is. Excellent. Here we go. So I'm going to bring this up now. Is it going to do it? Yes, it is. Fuses. No, not Commodore 64 emulator. I don't want to... <laughs> oh, my goodness. The Commodore 64 emulator always decides that it must be... I I'm, I must be wanting to play Commodore 64. Can't get off the screen, Commodore 64 emulator. Don't save. You can't load Spectrum. What are you doing to me, man? 
Patrick says his birthday's coming up. He'll be 42 on Friday. My goodness, Patrick. Don't make me feel old, man. I thought you were about the same age as I am. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Anthony says, swears mine. Oh, okay. <laughs> so let's load this up. We're going to play a game of Novabug in Spectrum World. And this will be the first thing we play today. Won't be the last, but it'll be the first. So if I bring up the uh, main thing. Here we are, Novabug in Spectrum World. Help Novabug, Amstrad's number one fan, to collect the ROM chips of destiny that will let him escape the hellscape his evil nemesis, Bovenug, has trapped him in. Z, left, X, right, and K is jump. So, let's give this a try, because a few people have said it's rather difficult and they're not sure they can, they can actually finish it. I don't remember it being impossible. But, uh, you know, I think it's alright. I want to put some music in it. There's, there'll be another version, 128K version, which will have the music in, but at the moment it doesn't. It's just one of those things. So this is one of the rooms that people said was almost impossible to play because uh, it it requires a lot of timing and a lot of uh, knowledge of the layout of the game. Which shows in the fact that I have already lost one of my lives. Hello to Jenny. Jenny is home from, from her work where she does works. Yes. What's going on here then? <laughs> you still playing that game? Oh, I, I lost. You distracted me. Any old excuse. I bet she's been losing a lot, but what other excuses has she used? <laughs> oh no, it's a day ending in Y. That's why I lost. Jan? Yeah? Would you be a, you know, a darling and do me a favour? Depends what that favour is. Would you bugger off? <laughs> well, uh, when, when you have a minute, could I have a cup of coffee, please? A cup of tea? A cup of coffee with one sugar, please. Well, you want a cup of Yes, please. A uh, a cappuccino, please. So what do I have to do with these things? Uh, heat up the co the the water, open the sachet, pour it in, add a, a sugar, and add the water. Then stir it for about twenty seconds. What I actually meant was, does it need milk or not? No, no, it doesn't. Thank you. I will leave Jen to to to. Whatever she wants to do. Shall we have another try on this? Because it is a difficult game. I made it purposefully difficult. I mean, at the time, we were all joking about it. But uh, I really do enjoy the game. And I'd love to know why Nova Bug is supposed to be green, but isn't unless you're standing in one of the paths of one of the enemies. It's a bit weird, but, you know, these things happen. So we'll go a different way. Hello to Ails Me Project. How are you doing? Also, one thing to remember, that you can steer the jump. Nova Bug's jumps can be steered. <laughs> Patrick says, doesn't Jenny know how to make... I make the teas and coffees and cook. Jen... Jen doesn't do an awful lot of uh, cooking because I I just enjoy it too much, so I kind of take over. Uh, it's, just one of, it's one of those things I do. What can I say? So... I'll jump back down here. Did I just lose it? I lost a life from jumping too far. Oh no! Oh, I'm dying in my own game. <laughs> I'm not very good at my own game. This is terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Blame Specky Color Clash. Yeah, I just don't get it. So this is the room that I may have to edit, and I'll grant people this one is hard. It was always meant to be hard. Whoops, uh, while I'm talking to you, I kind of lost it a bit there. And um, we'll show it again. But for the most part, I think we have actually checked every single room. And I managed to pick up all of the uh, the chips in each room. So it shouldn't be impossible to do because I've checked it. As we were going through, I checked every single bit. Patrick says, as I said, stick to text adventures. I do like my text adventures. I, I thoroughly enjoy the text adventures. Yeah, I got, kind of went wrong there, didn't I? Oops. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. Oh, no. You were unable to collect all the ROM chips of destiny. Now Nova Bug will be stuck in Bovenug's evil lair forever. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, what can I say? So Ailsmead says he's doing good, been playing World of Tanks and watching players raging. 
The game is so broken. I think yes, World of Tanks. I tried it when it came when it first arrived on Xbox. I thought, well, this sounds interesting. I'll give it a try, and it was broken from almost the moment I loaded it in. I couldn't get anywhere. I kept getting blown up by other people, and I thought this just isn't fun. So I left, and now I just play uh, Elder Scrolls Online mostly. This is how it is. Patrick says, can't blame Amstrad for Specky Color Crash. No, that's true. But uh, since we're on the uh, on the, about uh, games that I've made, I am planning another game, and it's based on. Well, I'll just bring myself back up on the screen. I think so. And it's based on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, LCD game, the Konami one. I'm actually writing and uh, putting together a Game Hammer episode reviewing that LCD game at the moment. But I want to try and make an Amstrad version of it because I think it'll be a nice challenge. It's uh, got very simple movement. There's not an awful lot to change about with it. And uh, I think it'll be fun. Uh, an interesting challenge and we'll see how we go from there but yes Patrick I do understand about the text adventures it's great fun to make those we can get all kinds of things oh thank you so much my dear let me put it down there because it's hot thank you uh, you might be happy to know that there is lasagna in the oven she's already found it <laughs> this is the thing about Jenny she follows her nose it's like oh, I smell lasagna sniff it sniff it oh, and just goes to it <laughs> Like in those old uh, cartoons from like the 30s and 40s where someone would just sort of float along hanging and following their nose along a scent line toward the food. That's Jenny. <laughs> oh, she's going to she's gonna be so angry with me when she sees this. <laughs> she's not listening at the moment, you see. Oh, it's good to be back and talk to you all, guys. I, I really do uh, thank you for coming back. So what have we got today? And that is the main question, of course, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's the main question. <laughs> Patrick says uh, she bullies you too much in the Monday Club. To be honest with you, um, I don't think that's true. We have a lot of banter. And uh, Jen feels a little bit like I kind of muscle in and start talking over her. And it is her show. So, you know, but I think we have a, a good time and uh, we certainly enjoy it. Uh, Ellesmead says, I've not played ESO in a long time. My sister is hooked on it. I, however, am a World of Warcrafter of 15 years. I used to I used to play World of Warcraft so much. I had a subscription. I got, I got uh, what was it? Where is it? I've got a, the box over there. The um, It's the battle pack. It's World of Warcraft, Burning Crusade, and whatever came after the Burning Crusade. I had those, and they were a lot of fun, I have to admit. But it started uh, getting a bit too... Uh, it started taking over my life too much. Uh, I am I was on Warcraft, finding out updates about a presidential election at 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning one time. And then I just sort of realised, this is, this is silly. Why am I still playing this game when I'm actually looking at the politics thing and talking to people about it? In a game that I've been on since six o'clock that night. So I decided it was too much. And I would pull back. And I haven't been back since. Just one of those things. I went on to Star Trek Online after that. That was a lot of fun. But I only went in there to play the story rather than anything else. And then I stopped. And it's the same with Elder Scrolls Online. At the moment I'm getting through all of the story and all of the expansion packs. I'm up to elsewhere on the expansion packs going through those. Lich King was expanding... You're right, Ellie Speed. Lich King. Wrath of the Lich King. That was the one. It was good. I've heard Cataclysm was quite interesting. But uh, that's just how it is. And then I went on to Star Trek, did the stories. Now I'm on Elder Scrolls, gone through the stories on that. Um, I haven't done the the Dark Heart of Skyrim and uh, Greymoor, I think it is, yet. But uh, by the end of the year, I'll probably be up to date. That's just how it is. I, I generally take it at my own pace now three maybe four hours a night while i'm uh just laid laid up uh because we have a, an xbox in one of the bedrooms i play that while jen's asleep and then uh i have my my me time as we say playing that but i limit it how much i go on it because i could lose all day and that's something that warcraft uh made me realize about games it's one of the reasons i started pulling back from modern gaming i don't want to get sucked in oh that is still too hot but speaking of modern gaming, 
reasonably modern stuff. I've got some pickups because I haven't been uh, I haven't been shirking my collection. Let's put it that way. I'll just move Stargate out of the way because I we won't be playing Stargate. That uh, is a DVD. So recent recently I picked up a game called Flow Urban Dance Uprising. Now. This is one of those weird ones. It's an eye toy game. I don't think we're going to be playing it on uh, on the stream because it's uh, full of uh, music. But it would be interesting to, to do a game I'm a review on because it's eye toy compatible. And it's also, funnily enough, a game that I've seen on shelves while I've been going out looking for games that I need to, to add to the collection for the last six to eight months. And then all of a sudden it clicked on that. I don't actually have it. So <laughs> I finally picked a copy up. But here's the one I really want to play today and show you off. Pool Paradise. But it, I already have Pool Paradise. But it's not this version. It's in the black uh, case. This is the International Edition. What's different about it? I don't know. But we're going to have a try. And the weirdest part is... The back of it is in a font that I recognise. It looks like uh, handwriting. Kind of. Uh, it looks like comic, comic lettering. And it's called um, Blambot Casual. And the reason I recognise it is my comics are written in that. Blambot Casual. Or is it Blambot Pro? I can't remember which one it is. The the version of Blambot's uh, lettering font that you have to pay for. Because then you can use it in uh, comics and things. So I was surprised to see that because it's the Penny Arcade font. And it's the All Over the House font. It's a really good font, which is why both my comic and Penny Arcade use it. So it's weird to see it on the back of a game. Then I also picked up Sea Blade. I don't know what this is. Uh, cities flooded, mankind ex enslaved, search, rescue and destroy in the air and under the sea. Sounds great. And didn't realise it was an Xbox ex exclusive. Technically it isn't because it's out on PC. But it's not on PS2 or uh, GameCube or anything like that. Then Splat Magazine Renegade Paintball. How do you become a renegade paintballer? Do you... Go off the the course and shoot pedestrians. Is that that what's going on here? Because that doesn't seem like a it would be a good thing to put in a game. <laughs> but then I found this. Jen found it actually. Frequency, and we played a game just before the last. Uh, it might have even have been the last live stream we did called Amplitude. Frequency here is the sequel to it. So I'm looking forward to giving that a try. But the other one I want to show you is fitness fun now does this look like a fitness game to you guys you think that to me looks like it's going to be a game or at least a disc that helps you lose weight get in get in shape and now have to lock down i could probably do with that i thought that's what this was but it's not <laughs> i'm trying to read the back i'll read the back of this for you the original aerobic simulator as fun as a dance game. Help the lovely model Riho to practice aerobic gymnastics to the sounds of pop and hip hop music. Timing and very good reflexes are what's needed to perform well. Hit the dance floor with fitness fun. More than 10 unreleased dance tracks. Improve your skills in practice mode and watch your steps in instant replay. Find new clothes for Riho to wear. Have fun to the beat of your favorite music. It's a rhythm game. It's not about fitness. It's about a woman gyrating in her underwear and various states of undress while you press buttons. I... <laughs> what do you say to that? It's like 505 games. They're either really great games or they're pervy as hell. And this has gone to the pervy of hell level. So that'll be interesting to see what, uh, what I can make of that. And uh, no doubt we'll have a uh, Game Hammer... Uh, review of that along with that weird 505 uh, table tennis game where it actually turns out it's more of a dating sim. So yeah, that's going to be uh, weird. So let's move on because we want to start playing some uh, some games that aren't games that I made. Let's uh, just remove the uh, Spectre emulator, confirm to close fuse, yes. So now I have to hope that uh, this doesn't crash the um, thingamajig, the, the obs, because it has a tendency to either do very nicely or crash everything. And this is uh, me loading up the uh, 
ITV system that I use for getting the, the screen. Here we go. And ding, 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 ding. Right, that's not quite in the right position, so let's move that across. There we are. So ITV is now on screen. And Patrick said, what's that? What? No, 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 no. Don't load up ITV. What are you doing to me? Oh, my God. Stop loading up ITV. Wow. <laughs> Elsme Project says, Zoe, is there any PS2 or Xbox original version games you're missing or would like? Um, I am at just under 80% complete on the entire set of PlayStation 2. As you can see behind me, I have a massive uh, collection and uh, we're up to the point where the stuff that I don't have is either hard to find in the shops or is expensive as all hell. So it's getting to be quite difficult to actually collect now. It's very annoying. So yes, there are many games I'm missing and would like, but I don't think I'll be getting most of them anytime soon. It's just one of those annoying things about collecting. You get to the point where it's like, this far, no further. So let's get... Is that in? Yep, that's in. Let's hope this works. Hello to Retro Mickey. How are you doing? Am I even getting this? Tuna. Composite video input. Oh, I haven't turned... Guys, I'm so out of practice. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so out of practice. I forgot to turn on the DVD recorder. <laughs> Everything is wrong today, guys. Oh, wow. That is so, so bad of me. But hello to RetroMickey82. Um, I'm doing mostly okay apart from failing a lot. At, at, wow, that's loud. That's loud. Wow. Wow, how bad was that? Oh. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> it would help if you turned the console on. It would help if I turned the console on. Why isn't this playing? Why isn't this auto playing? Have we got a non a non starter? Oh no. Um ah. Oh, everything's gone wrong, man. Just run the disc, run the I recognized it was a disc. That's that's a good start. Yes, it's working. Uh, Patrick says, according to my latest diabetic review, lost half a stone in addition to general bloods going down nine points. Um, is it good that you're losing bloods points? I, I may have been gaming too long, Patrick, but that sounds like a bad thing. If if I lost blood points in a game, I'd be a bit uh, upset about it. So, um, good luck. Continue with that, safe. <laughs> the characters used in the game are fictional. Uh, not intended to represent any real or fictional person. Right, so we're about to see some uh, caricatures of um, famous uh, pool players, perhaps. Not that I'll recognise any. Mm. Oh, cappuccino is lovely. That's my big thing at the moment. Since turning 40, I have started to really, really enjoy coffees, various coffees. Uh, I'm really into cappuccino at the moment. It's delicious. So I'm very happy with this. Thank you very much, Jen, if you're watching. Uh, Elsmead says, Sorry, I have my sister's collection here. Would you like me to email you what's here to your Monday Club address? Um, sure, yeah. That would be very generous of you uh, to let me have a look at that. I'd love I'd love to, uh, to have a look, yeah. Thank you. Chances are I'll say I've got them all because it that's the level that we're at now where it's so hard to find stuff. But, uh, yeah, I'd love to take a look, just in case. And, uh, Mark Holt, hello, how are you doing? Oh, that is a lovely cup of coffee. Thank you, Jen. Alex, look, hello, how are you doing? He says, I quit coffee. Well, what you've put down, I've picked up. Let's put it that way. Okay, so, how many players? Well, one player... Choose character empty. Yes, that sounds about right. Who have we got? Weird looking uh, people. That one looks like Sylvester Stallone. We're, we're playing as Sylvester Stallone. 
Um, <laughs> we're playing pool underwater with a pool shark. Oh, it's a lone shark. Yes, he will lend you two. Oh, for goodness sake. That's the level we're at, is it? Oh, my goodness. So... <sighs> you now have $200 from a treasure chest from a literal lone shark. Practice... Crazy tables or competition. Let's go for competition. We'll have a look and see what happens here. You've never drunk coffee or tea. It's good to not have a... What's going on here? Okay, 10 ball pool. Yeah, let's go for this. Please don't make Tesra and quit tea or coffee. <laughs> no, I won't. Okay, so now we're ha the floating disembodied hands of destiny are asking me heads or tails. I'll go for heads. And that's... Play one. That was heads. Okay. Uh, do you want to... Play on, um, yeah, I, 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 I want to play. Okay, here we go. Mark Holt says, when you get to my age, you avoid coffee because if you don't, your prostate has your born. Well, I'm happy to say I don't have that problem. <laughs> okay, then let's see, how, how do I change? Okay, if I hold down that button, I get to zoom in and out. Um, how do I get to change the... Where I press on the ball. Ah, here we are. Right, so uh, cycle mode, check bets, display health, analog cue, top or back spin, side spin. Okay. Right, cue elevation. Hang on. Um, analog, yeah, I want the analog cue. Can I actually um do this? Ah. No. Guys, the this this game is not good. What was that? That's a weird thing to see on the end of a Right, so we're going to It's got different th It's got different things on the end of the queue. That's just weird. That's just weird and off-putting. Um how do I get to change this? There we are. Right, we've got the English on the ball, so how do I shoot? Don't want to move the ball. I want to shoot. Seriously, let me play the damn thing. I don't want to move the ball. What do you do? Shoot aiming, right? Okay. Right. What do I... Oh, for goodness sake. How on earth am I supposed to play this damn game? Can I play the thing now? Cycle mode, yeah. Okay, cycle mode. Viewing, I don't want to do... Don't want to do a ball movement. Nominating ball, yes. Nominating pocket. That one. Yeah. Yeah. What... What just happened? Am I now aim? What the hell is going on with this thing? Why is, why is there a yellow ball floating and bouncing? What the? This game sucks. Let me... Just let me shoot the... What the... Finally, if I hold down the X button and wiggle the buttons, I manage to get something. What the hell? Oh my goodness, this sucks. Certainly not virtual pool, is it? My goodness. Right, I don't know, is that weird uh, pencil drawing of some celebrity? Am I still on the... what's going on? Is that supposed to be me? Why aren't I there? What's, what the hell is going on? This is surreal. Ugh. 
player one can place the cue ball. Well, clearly I'm going to place it just here. Because that way I can get it into the pocket. Right. Hold X, push back and push. Yeah, essentially that's what I ended up doing. But it didn't quite work as well as I thought. So I'm going to bring that down a little bit. Whoa! Did my ball just bounce? That was weird. Uh, Mickey Smith, hello, how you doing? What system are we on? At the moment, this is PlayStation 2. Pretty much the last uh, of the great old retro systems. Because after that, you could download stuff and then you couldn't get a complete... Uh, a complete collection anymore. Because the moment that some games were declared, oh, you can't have them now, then that was it. So, come on, Sandy, you... You, uh, trying to pot something. Go on, you know you want to. Why isn't he there? Why is it just hands and a cue? This is strange. I don't think he hit the lowest ball first there. Yeah, foul by Sandy Beach. Right, that's going to be interesting. I'm going to hit that ball. Um, shot aiming slightly like that. I'm going to actually knock it that way. Bring the queue up a bit. Further down and across. Try my trigonometry. I think I did it. Yes. Now, I'm not the best at pool, as you can see. But I did just manage to pot a solid, so I'm solids. I think that's how this works. Actually, no, that's not how it works because this isn't nine ball, is it? Or eight ball. This is uh, standard uh, competition pool. So, yeah, he's going to go for whatever. Yep, he's going to go for the yellow. So we've got to get them in order. Okay. Patrick says, I tried to find you a copy of that hacker's novelization. And it's very, it is, it's very rare, which is why I don't have a copy. Because I would have bought that years ago, because I adore that film. I do have the Judge Dredd one. Uh, I basically came out of the cinema having seen the film, and then immediately went and bought the novelization. That's pretty much what I would have done with hackers back in the day if I'd been able to find a copy of the book. So it was rare even back then, because it's like it came and went. Okay, I've got to now try and pop that. He's left me with quite a decent option here. So let's see if I can get it. Oh, come on! That that should have gone in. <laughs> How did that not go in? You're just being a git now, computer. Oh, man. Right, we're only going to play this one game. This one frame, I think they call it. And then we're going to move on. Because this isn't quite what I wanted from a pool game. It's not bad. I'll give it to its due. It's not a bad game. It's just not exactly what I was wanting. I wanted something a bit more like Virtual Pool. Which I adore, by the way. And the N64 version is amazing. But it's, this isn't quite what I wanted. Oh, God. I was supposed to hit that on the rebound. And it didn't. Uh, Patrick says, Have you got anything you can read Kindle books on? Uh, yes. Uh, my uh, digital assistant reads uh, Kindle books for me. I can also read them on the computer or on my phone. This one is... Why do I have to press a button for the opponent, the computer-controlled opponent, to actually play around? I have to press the button to animate the computer. Okay, now the computer's going to beat me. It, it, it lulled me in, pretending to be able to, uh, to play. Blank, pretending to not be able to play, but it can. Come on! It's doing this on purpose. Now it's going for pink. Come on, come on. Well, you suck now, don't you, computer? Oh my goodness. So, we have to go for the pink. Can I 
Can I move the ball just right behind? Yes, I can. Okay, I'm going to make sure we get that damn pink. <laughs> Come on, we're going to do this. Right, I'm going to have to lower this down. Put a bit of English on it and make sure that the ball comes back. There we go. Oh, you don't need to, Padre. You really don't. Right, where are, where are we up to now? We've got to get the orange. This is going to be tricky. So basically, I've got to try and bounce the ball in the right way. If I hit it off both of those buffers at the back, bring the mouse up. If I hit the, bo the ball off that buffer and knock it over to there, at the right angle, I should be able to hit that. This is going to be tricky. It's going to be really tricky. Because if I miss... Yeah. If I miss, I'm going to go straight in the pocket. And then he's going to have a... Just an easy view. Come on. Come on, invisible opponent. That meant that they didn't have to design or generate any kind of uh, framework or clothing or anything else for any of the other opponents. We know what you're doing. You're cost saving. Come on. Come on, invisible man wearing latex uh, gloves. What? Rail or cushion was not hit. Didn't realise you had to, so okay. Put the English on it, uh, yeah. How did I miss that? How did I miss that? That is just atrocious. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was so bad. <laughs> I missed a ball in an open pocket from right next to it. Oh my goodness. Oh, I told you I was bad at pool, but I didn't realise I was that bad. Oh my goodness. I do like one thing that they've done with this. They've, they've tried to give each of the opponents a bit of uh, personality because... Sandy here always taps the table before taking a name. That's quite interesting. Oh, for goodness sake. Why am I even here? So I've just potted a ball. It wasn't the right ball. And I pocketed the cue ball as well. Wonderful. I am so good at pool. No one can possibly beat me at pool. Never play me a pool. Because you will win. <laughs> and I don't like that. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Oh, my goodness. I feel like I'm being led on by this guy. So what's he going to do now? What, which colour is it now? Come on. Come on, Sandy. It's very slow at times, isn't it? Very slow. Oh, for goodness sake. Right, so let's see if we can get this, line it up nicely. I like it when you get to line it up, it's much easier. Right, let's uh, aim down a little bit. Oh, for goodness sake, I have totally lost it now. Oh my goodness. Wow. How? How did I lose it like that? How, how have I lost the ability to play pool? I've been playing pool since I was a teenager. How have I lost it? How am I missing so badly at this? Oh my goodness. I'm even playing as a, a crudely drawn picture of Sylvester Stallone. How are we losing at this? This is just not right. Oh, come on, Sandy. Get us out of our misery here. Whoops, I just knocked the uh, DVD player there. Actually, why don't I record a bit of this? We can, we'll keep the footage. Come on, Sandy, you can you can do it. Put us out of our misery. Come on, come on, come on. 
Play the damn hand. Wow, this game is slow. It's weird. It's it's not a bad game. It's I've, we've had certainly played worse, but it's not polished. There should be there should be faster responses. I shouldn't be waiting around having to press multiple times just to get the opponent to uh, move. I should be able to see the opponent instead of just floating hands. There's all kinds of bits where it's just not quite right and is a bit creepy. However, the core mechanics aren't bad. We made a ball bounce earlier on by hitting it too low. I think you could do some interesting trick shots, but uh, I like the characterization. He taps the table before aiming, but at the same time, this really needs to be uh, a bit more polished. Let's put it that way. Go on. Yes! No! <laughs> That's why you do the English on it, so that it rolls backward after you hit. Oh my goodness, I just gave away a shot. <laughs> oh. oh man, and I recorded that, so it's going to be there forever now. <laughs> This isn't Big Breaks as well. You know, I would have loved a game of Big Break. A proper computer game of Big Break. That would have worked so well. Now you answer a few questions, you get to pot some balls, it'll be alright. We could have a good party game based on Big Break. But instead we've got uh, Sandy the Invisible Man who's wearing latex gloves so that we can see where he's holding the queue. Hopefully he's wearing some other things as well, but we just can't see them. But you never know with these invisible guys. Right, can we do... Oh, this is going to be a tricky one. I think we can do it. Move that down a little bit and... Go on, go on. Oh, I didn't quite get it. I was it. I was trying to do a trick shot to get it in the corner pocket. Honest, honest. That's what I was doing. Honest. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, we're just chasing the balls around the table here. It's like Dave Lister on uh, Red Dwarf. <laughs> he, I've seen him chase those balls around all night, and he's never lost. Never once lost one down one of those pockets. <laughs> oh, we're just getting beaten so badly here. We're probably going to lose this, aren't we? In fact, certainly going to lose this. Come on. Put us out of our misery, Sandy. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. Just play the damn shot. Come on. Wow, it's slow. Oh, my goodness. At least we know how to play now. You hold down the, the X button and uh, move backward and forward on the uh, left uh, analog stick. Come on. Oh, it's practically left it up for us. Right. That's probably the best place to place it. In fact, I want to roll it forward, so let's go up. And go. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> what a... I was hoping to get both points in there, but it didn't work. Oh, man. This is so bad. So anyway, we know why, now why it's got... <laughs> These characters aren't based on real people, honest, as a legal disclaimer on the start. It's not because they've put famous pool players in. It's because they've got badly drawn pictures of uh, Sylvester Stallone and Clint Eastwood, it seems. Finally potted a ball. Well, that didn't work. 
Should have aimed that a bit better. I thought I was going to knock it into the corner. But no, nope, my uh, skills at pool have uh, deserted me, and it's not fair. I need to put my thinking hat back on. Come on, let's do this. I've got my thinking cap. Let's get on. We can think the deep thoughts now. Hmm. 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 <laughs> oh, dear. Finally. Commiserations. Sandy Beach has won the frame and match by pocketing the ten ball. <laughs> Mark Holt says, I wonder if PS2 Jim Davidson would be less ist in Big Break the Game. Probably not. <laughs> They'd probably keep it authentic to the original experience by having them be a bit weird. Right, can I put the controller down a second? That was... Actually... How, what would I rank that? I'd love to I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Out of ten, what would you give that? Because I'm thinking... Six and a half out of ten. It's not bad, but there are certain things that make it too slow and too awkward. But yeah, I think that is supposed to be a uh, drawing of Clint Eastwood. And the way he's got his thumb up there kind of makes it look like he was actually originally holding a gun from Dirty Harry. Instead, it looks like he's now tossing up uh, an eight ball. I think that's what's going on there. But either way, not a ba not a bad game. I I've definitely played worse, but I've also definitely played better. And it's called Virtual Pool, and it's wonderful. Although when they did the sequel, Virtual Pool Two, they took out the uh, the entertainer as the soundtrack, and that really upset me because I liked it. So there we are, Pool Paradise International Edition. As opposed to the other Pool Paradise edition, which I've got somewhere up here. Somewhere. Right. <laughs> Let's put that aside. Um, I thought uh, as our main feature for going into the second hour of the show would be... We haven't done Mega Drive for quite a while, but it has a problem. Where if I turn the Mega Drive on and where and I don't leave it for a while, it kind of breaks by, um... Well, all the colours go weird, and it can't... And the DVD player can't cope, and the ITV can't either. But we may be able to get it on, um... How can I put it? Uh, RF cable. It's not as good quality, but I think it'll be good enough for streaming. So if you guys are happy with that, I thought we'd give for the, for the start of the second hour a bit of... Oh, what was the one? Uh, Micro Machines 2 Turbo Tournament? Because that's always a fun one. I thought that would be a nice, uh, fun thing. So I've got to just try and get that set up. But while we're doing that, while I'm doing that, uh, where is my... Uh, you're now seeing my uh, screen, my uh, computer screen. Where is it? My films? I think it's in here. Actually, no. I've lost it again. <laughs> Of course I have. Wow, it did, it's just completely gone. That's a bit annoying. I had a video set up and I've lost it. Oh, that's so annoying. Where's it gone? Infinity Improv Theatre. I was going to show you a really fun uh, thing. But nope, it's gone. Oh, well. We'll have to get it from uh, YouTube instead. That We're so professional today. I, I'm just losing my mind here. It's just ridiculous. But uh, next week's episode will be better and more polished because I'll be back into the uh, swing of things. So... <laughs> Where is it? Infinity? Oh, come on. Improv... Why is it so slow? Guys, I, I just don't get it. Why is my computer... I, ho I hope it's not gone too bad for you guys. Here we go. Military tactics. Infinity Improv Theatre. <laughs> you guys, I think you'll enjoy this while I set up the Mega Drive. These days... Well, we're not going to enjoy that, are we? My goodness. Get off the screen. Wow. 
Here we go. Tactics, but uh, oh, Trevor, get in the tank! Oh, in the tank, see, we're in the tank, and uh, well, we're on the tank, and we're going to go, we're going to invade that small girl. Oh, that's not very nice. Hey, shut up, shut up, will you? I don't, oh, uh, give me strength. Now, do you understand anything that I have told you? Job's worth doing, do it yourself. To get in the tank, go and invade the small girl, and the small girl is invaded. Hello, and goodbye. Oh, oh his hands down. Oh. Uh, uh. Right, that's it. That's it. I'm going to. I'm going to start a florist, I think. Uh, florist, yes. <laughs> So there you go, <laughs> that's uh, Infinity Improv Theatre, and uh, it's just a bit of fun while I got the uh, Mega Drive set up. So hopefully this is going to work, and it hasn't because it's decided that actually I've put it in wrong. So that's nice. And uh, hello to Zach, how are you doing? Try and get that out of the way. Uh, oh, this is going really well, isn't it? So Mega Drive, it did decided not to work. Unplug. Plug again. The usual hot swap. Please work. Yeah. You see, you, you get all the best uh, stuff on Game Hammer, don't you? <laughs> see what I mean? It wobbles and goes weird. So, hopefully, if I jump backward into. One of these is going to be set at... Oh, for goodness sake. So it's not. There we go, guys. Uh... Isn't that wonderful? 
that's the level we're at here. We had the Mega Drive tuned in and then it decided it wasn't going to be tuned in. But I think we can still play a bit of Micro Machines, which is what we want to do. One player, we're going to go for... Ooh. We can't play this, can we? That is terrible. We're going to try anyway. Super League. Yeah, we're going to be Rickster. Change name? No, why would we change the name of Rickster? That is an amazing and totally legitimate name. Here we go. Treehouse. Let's do it. Rickster, Davy, Sarah and Jethro. Let's do this. We're going to go in. And I've immediately pressed the reverse. So we're not going... We're not going to win today <laughs> in the epic races. Here we go. Yeah, it's start see what I mean? It's starting to pull itself together. Oh my goodness. The moment that we can't see the car, it falls off the table. This is one of those games that I adored as a kid. I was actually not too bad at it as well. It, it's one that you need to practice at. And you essentially need to learn the table. Learn the route, the map, uh, the track. Oh, why am I so bad at games and the terminology? It's, you'd almost think I hadn't been playing it since 1985. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but these games aren't too bad. I, I do enjoy them. And I've come last because I suck. And there we go. But here's the thing. I adore Micro Machines. It's, it's one of those games we used to play all the time. Friends would come round and we'd play three or four player because it has the, the the joystick ports on it. And my sister would join in sometimes. Because it's the kind of game that uh, even uh, casuals would come and join in with. I adore this stuff. It's just great. So let's get into it. Doom doom. And no matter what you're using, it's always going to manoeuvre the same. Because they're all actually micro machines, not uh, vehicles. It's just a lot of fun. Whoops. Well, I've screwed this up already, haven't I? Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, it's been so long I can't even remember the course. They're so bad. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to win. I have a feeling that something is going to prevent me from winning and it's my own inability to play the game. No one to blame except myself, even though I will, of course, blame uh, Jen, because she's not here and therefore can't say that uh, it was me. <laughs> oh my goodness, so bad, so bad. I love these games, though. And uh, I think it was Chief 18... Yeah, it was Chief 89 was mentioning uh, the Ant stream, the, the streaming system and how you can apparently use... Um, Use it to play multiplayer games across the internet, old, uh, old 8-bit and 16-bit games. So, I was having to think about that. That might be something we can do for a challenge. I think that would be a great challenge. To actually uh, have a guest or two onto the show and play a streamed game with them. I'd probably uh, do that before the show itself and then have it as a pre-recorded section so I can make sure that we can all be there at the same time. And that our schedules line up. But I think it'll be something fun to look into. What do you guys think about that? Because I, I always want to hear your views on it. This is this show is all about uh, everyone who watches it, as you, as you all know. So I think that'll be a lot of fun. But uh, I'd like to know what you guys think before I, I schedule all of that. Also, we're going to have some... Uh, I mentioned this before. Uh, before the uh, changeover to the new format with the weekly thing. And we're going to end up with... Um, interviews and things like that and having a look at people's collections and just a more of a community feel that's the kind of thing i want to go with with the show so i'd love to hear your feedback on that and what you think about doing it that way see the the mega drive is starting to uh fall into place now we're starting to get almost to the point where it's uh managing to hold its uh, vertical position and the colors it's a very annoying thing when this happens, but what can you do? Oh, is this the one around the bath? Yeah, this is the one that's got the track around the bath. Which I don't seem to be able to get. Oh! It's not a bath, it's a toilet seat. 
So just like my uh, ability to uh, play these games, it's all going down the loo. <laughs> This is so bad, isn't it? I am not good at these games. Yeah. Even when I've finished, I thought, oh. That is, guys, how bad was that? <laughs> uh, Patrick says, it's a good idea to send you a video in my workroom when I, when I can. That would be great, thank you. I'm glad you didn't like the idea. Because that's what we want from this. We want We want people to enjoy it. Right, are we finally gonna? Oh, there's a, there's a horn you can press. I forgot about the horn. It's completely pointless, but it's there. I just love the Micro Machines games. There's some, even though I'm terrible at them and I'm losing, I still really like them. Oh, oh my goodness. Ah. I try to concentrate, keep going, keep going. Ah, no, it's not working out. Oh, no. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, come, come right. Wow, I'm so bad at this. Oh, my goodness. Ah, hee -haw. Oh, no. oh, no, 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 that's not good. Oh, I'm getting lapped now, even though I'm, I'm actually trying. I'm trying my best. I'm st <laughs> still not good enough. Oh, oh. Oh, how terrible can this get? Oh my goodness. Ah! <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, kind of, yes. Yes, am I still... Oh my goodness, I've... They've finished and... <laughs> <gasps> Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, Patrick says uh, I said that his workroom was too it was too tidy. It looked like uh, it looked like you didn't even game in there. How how can you how can you game in such neatness? I have mess everywhere. That's how I focus. <laughs> Come on, we're going to try it. Did I just get relegated? No, I can't get relegated because I'm right at the bottom. <laughs> do you want to race again? Yes, I do. I want to try to get better. Here we go. <laughs> well, come on, let's do this. Let's do it. Come on. Oh. My goodness. This is so bad. I'm even trying hard and I still can't. Guys, it's not fair. How how can someone who's been playing this since the 90s suck so bad? Dave uh, Holloway says, Hello there, Dave. I love playing Micro Machines, but my favourite Mega Drive game was Cool Spot. Oh my goodness, yes, Cool Spot is great. I actually have it on Super Nintendo. We should play that at one time. It's such a good game. Um, I did. Rem I can't remember whether it was a Game Hammer review or a Game Hammer wa daily review or maybe even a one. No, it wouldn't have been a one shot. That was too long ago. It might have been Game Hammer daily. I had a lot of fun playing uh, Cool Spot for that. Is that it? Didn't oh. I'm not very good at this. Um, why is Violet Berlin called Ben in this? That doesn't seem right. <laughs> Patrick says it's old age. It really is. Oh my goodness. We have to find a game that's more my my speed, won't we? Alright, let's press stop on this. I'll tell you what is more my speed. Where's my copy of Zombies Ain't My Neighbours? Let's play Zombies Ain't My Neighbours. Now, zombies haven't eaten my neighbours. My neighbours are actually pretty decent people. And I'd rather zombies didn't eat them. I might end up with bad neighbours. But uh, we'll play a nice uh, episode. Nice game of that. It's one that I'm planning for Game Hammer as a review. Uh, probably around Halloween. Zompers. It my neighbours. 
this is a lot of fun. This game is so much fun. Again, Konami, back when it was a seal of quality. And again, the game doesn't want to actually work. That's the problem with retro. There we go. Patrick's old age, yes, old edges. Unfortunately, destroying my ability to game. Wow. Even when it uh, looks like it's working, it's not. This is this is think. It's like a comedy of errors in here. Go on. Actually, work this time. Come on. Yay. Right, here we go. Zombies ate my nibbers. And they found them quite delicious. Konami. I love the 50s and 60s style horror there. How good is that? Left player or right player? We're going to play as the girl. Are we actually starting the game? Yes. Rescue the neighbors in. Level one. Zombie panic. So. We've now got to try and collect all these people. Before the, the zombies get us, no, you're not getting us, no, it's not right. Oh. Grab a key. Why is this zombie? Why is this zombie coming after me? I think I've already adequately demonstrated that I haven't got any brains because I couldn't play micro machines. Retro Mickey says, I'm terrible at this. I, I know the feeling. <laughs> rescue that guy and back out so I didn't actually need to use the trampoline there but never mind did I use the key to get in for the baby yeah I have 247 shots on my laser get away from me zombie <laughs> where is the see the the dead won't stay dead. It's terrible. It's a, it's a real problem. They've got a real issue with the dead people around here. Get the dog. Yes, we got the dog. Now we need that key. Ah, no. Get away from me. Get away. Yes. We have a key. So we can get in our house if we need to. An awful lot of zombies in this graveyard. So we're going to have to be careful. Pull on the floor. Never played this as bad. But Patrick, I thought you played everything. How, how, how can you be the CPC completionist without playing all the games? Oh, ah! Shoot them! Get them out of the way! Oh no! Have I got everyone? I can't have everyone. Otherwise it would have been... Is that two people left? Where are they? Pretty sure we've looked everywhere. Is there a way up the other... Outside of here? Ah, there we are. There we go. Finally! Oh my goodness! That took a lot longer than I expected it to. <laughs> Patrick says, because this is Mega Drive, not CBC. You see, I you know, wasn't sure that you might have caught that. You know, I was trying to get through. All victims saved bonus! Yay! That won't happen again. <laughs> Evening of the Undead! <laughs> Oh, 
Why is that guy who's clearly got a weapon with him? Oh, Not able to... The dead are much, much more uh, active and aggressive on this level. Here we go. Going to, there's a cheerleader. So we haven't got the bonus already because the first person we met got killed. But um, at least we're managing to pick up a few people. Get off the trampoline. Oh, that's a zombie, not a person. Zombies are people too. No, they're not. <laughs> ah! Pick up that. Can't get in the house because we haven't got any keys left. So, we've got to find a key. Well, there's some beers, so... I, I think it's actually supposed to be Coca-Cola, but they look like beers. I don't know what that is. And can't find a key, so we can't, no. Hopefully we don't, there's one. So we can get in that house now. Let's go back. Oh my goodness. There's <clears throat> a lot of walking around and just kind of trying to stay alive in this. Which, to an extent, you can understand. But I prefer it if we could uh, do a bit more than just wander around and hope for the best. Did I just, oh, there we are. Right. Save the baby. Who abandoned a baby? That seems irresponsible. So someone someone I didn't even see is now dead. Wonderful. Someone's litter picking in the middle of the apocalypse. You know, priorities, guys. Priorities. Leave, leave the gardening and the litter picking. You've got zombies trying to eat your brains. Did I just... Am I dead? Come here. Right, we're okay. We're okay. We can still do this. We can We can still win. We can, we'll be alright. We can... Get off! Well, I do like the music on this. It's a lot. Of, it's nice music. There we go. Let's get out of here. Oh, this is this game is just so much fun. Right, we've got two lives left, which should be enough to keep us going for a little bit. I hope. Level three. Terror in aisle five. <laughs> right, let's quickly get the baby off the escalator. Except I can't because there's a zombie killing me. Why are these dudes st st stand? There's a baby to be got. Go on, get it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What's going on here? Who's saying woo ha ha? That's weird. Uh, Patrick says, have you tried the extended Dizzy 1 on the Spectrum yet? No, I haven't. I will have to have a look at that. You... Thanks for reminding me, I completely forgot. Wow, it's been a busy time forgetting about Dizzy games. Don't... I would I would never do that normally. Apparently we can't just shoot the soda machines. Right. Tourists? There's an apocalypse going on and you stand around taking pictures? What what the hell's wrong with you, man? My goodness. Some of these people just don't have their heads screwed on properly. Right, we're doing all right. We're, we're getting through this. We're getting through. Come on. We can do this. Did it, oh, I just wasted a key opening a second door. And there's a hole in the wall. Oh, my goodness. That's not a... That's not a zombie? That's not a child, even? A, a pedestrian? It's a zombie throwing things? Wow. I'm going to try and save the baby from this zombie. Yes, we got it. Get some soda. It hasn't actually made us feel better. 
We're about to die horribly. Yeah, that zombie's going to kill us and we're dead. Oh, I'm not good at this, man. I'm not good. Right, run. Run and shoot. Run and shoot. Yes, that's the way. That's the technique. Run and shoot. Come on. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. Down here. Who's saying woo-ha-ha? -ha? What's going on? More tourists. Ah <laughs> Oh my goodness. Ah uh -huh. uh -huh. Oh no 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 no. Oh no. Oh, oh. we're getting we're getting attacked here. Come on, where's the tourists? Come on, you are just standing around. Oh, they were the last ones. They were just standing around there. <laughs> oh my goodness, what are they like? Patrick says, I let a friend from church borrow my all of the house books. And apparently he was laughing out loud as he was reading. That's great. Thank you so much for that. You've made my day, Patrick. That is great. I'm glad that people like him. Here we go. Right, we're back out here. In the middle and... Wow, the lumberjack's... Tra Whoa. He's really fast. I forgot about him. Oh my goodness. So, there's a litter picker. Oh my goodness, we need to get these guys. How am I supposed to get him? What did I just... Oh, I didn't want to do that. What the? What the? That's insanity. What's going on here? <laughs> what? Why am I... Why am I blue? What's going... <gasps> This is insane. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> you can tell this is LucasArts. It's got their sense of humour. Oh my goodness. Right, there we are. We're back to normal now. That was just weird. So, where am I going, and how do I find the people that I need? There we go, we've got one. Uh, looks like there's three left. Is he meant to be Jason Voorhees? He's got Jason Schema. Or is he the guy from Splatterhouse? That could be the Splatterhouse guy, couldn't it? Or did he just kill the guy? Yes, he did. Yep, two left. Oh, dear. What are we like with these games, man? Come on. Come on, we can fight. There's there's a cheerleader just standing around going, hey. So Patrick says, do you think games like Myst could be done on the CPC? Um, Yes. Graphically, it would be a very different experience, but yes, the the general style of game certainly could have been. It's just pre-rendered images. If you're if you're willing to downgrade the images and make it a disc-based game, then I don't see a problem with it. You'd it'd probably be multiple discs. You'd have to switch them a fair amount of times, but yeah, it could be done. It would be pretty expensive though. Discs weren't cheap back then, were they? But yeah, that, I don't see a reason why it couldn't have been done. Right, we're still trying to find this one last person. Where could they be? And this is the only downside of this game. The amount of time that you're just wandering around trying to find that one last person. You can't quite do it. Oh my goodness, how they got away with this back in the day. I don't know. Game over. Disc swapping would depend on file compression. Yes, it would, but at the same time, you would still need to do some disc swapping. Just for the sheer size of the game, you know? Maybe we could try that as a project sometime.
There we go. <laughs> Zoe! Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> I do enjoy the Mega Drive. Sometimes you want a change of pace, and it is exactly what you need to do. So I'm going to turn that off now. Oh, guys. So we're at half past eight. We've been going... Uh, Going, going 90 minutes. We've, I think this has been a good episode so far. Now, another thing that I wanted to talk about, which I haven't actually mentioned yet, and I'm going to bring myself back up on the main screen for this. Whoa, wrong main screen. There we go. We get, the, we get there in the end. I have here the Amstrad program book. Now, I have, uh, I have done this. I've mentioned this on, uh, I think it was... What was it? Uh, Retro Tech 100. And I found it in a shop ages ago. Oh, did I find No, I bought it from eBay. I'm getting confused. The Amazing Amsterdam Omnibus, one of the copies of that I've got. I found that in the shop. This uh, game I uh, bought from eBay because it's fairly rare. And there isn't a copy of the type-ins on the internet as far as I can see. So my plan is to... Uh, of uh, the next couple of weeks to type these in. I have to get uh, an Amstrad emulator that I can uh, work on that will actually work on my computers. Still can't get the uh, Java CPC to work on either the PC or the Mac. I don't know what's happened. It appears, from what I can tell, that either an update of the Java CPC or an update of Java itself has corrupted and uh, it just won't work. It refuses to work now. But there are other options, of course, uh, on Windows especially. So I have a feeling that I'll be able to get an Amstrad emulator going at some point. And then I will be typing this, uh, all of these in. And we're going to play them on genuine hardware. So I think it's going to be some fun because there's one in here. And it appears to be an Amstrad CPC version of the, the traditional 70s to 90s game uh, Star Trek. Where you are flying around an Enterprise, usually an Enterprise, sometimes the Lexington instead. Uh, fighting Klingons, going to space stations to refuel and all that. If you've ever played the, a game just called Star Trek, you know which one I'm on about. That's that's the, the thing that I'm going for. There's a type-in version of it in here. From what I can tell, it's in here. Once I've typed all those in, we'll play a few of them and it'll be quite nice. Uh, Patrick says, just use WinApe on Windows. I probably will. That is I, it's either WinApe or Caprice that I've got installed on my uh, little uh, laptop. Ooh. We'll play it from there. But once that's done, if it is the Star Trek game that I'm thinking it is, I'm going to try and enhance it a little bit with a few of my own little uh, uh, tweaks, and then I'll release the original version, the original disc uh, type-ins all on one disc, and I'll try and do my own version of the Star Trek one as well. But that is the plan. That's going to take a while, but uh, I think it'll be fun. It's not the longest book. There's only like 31 uh, programs in here, and the first one... Is like three pages long. I almost, I was almost tempted to type it in before I came online for tonight's show, because uh, it's like three pages long, if that, maybe two pages actually, with one little bit that goes over. Looks really, really simple, and it's just called Zombie Island. But at one point, it says that you were caught by robots. So are they zombie robots or robot zombies? That would be pretty cool if it was. Right, guys, for tonight, I'm thinking we'll leave it there. I don't have the cartoon that I would have actually extended the show with and done a little bit extra because I haven't had time to finish it. It's game, uh, the Gaming Pixie, and uh, it's going to be uh, comedic uh, reviews from inside a computer as if the Pixie is playing one of the roles in the game. That's the idea. I haven't had time to finish it. It's one of those annoying things. But I hope you have enjoyed this uh, return to the show. I really have enjoyed it, uh, hanging out with you guys and chatting. I want to uh, do this regularly every Wednesday from 7 p.m. Usually aiming for about two hours, maybe one hour and a half to two hours. That's the usual thing. Maybe go over on a special episode. I don't know yet, but that's the idea. I hope you've enjoyed it. Glad to be back and getting into uh, into uh, the live stream again. It's great fun to hang out with you. Take care. And as one last thing, Patrick says. Trying to find out about graphic adventure creator games only released on the Spectrum. Oh, that would be interesting to try and port them to the to the other systems like C64 and CPC. Because uh, I do love my uh, adventure games. 
But for now, the next project for game coding, once I've got an emulator that will work again on the laptop and we can get back onto live, then that will be a Saturday thing. Um, actually, no, it wouldn't because Saturdays I work hard on the cartoons for Star Trek, uh, A Question of Trek, the Star Trek quiz that I'm on on a Saturday evening. So that would probably be like a Thursday night thing that I would do do a live coding, something like that. But uh, that will be coming where we do the we attempt to do the Turtles game, and then after that we'll go back to our roots and start doing some uh, some text adventures again. But until then, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll have a, a bigger, better, and less uh, problem-filled <laughs> problem uh, show next week. Take care. Have a great night. Thank you so much for coming and joining me. Remember to click that like button, and I'll see you next time.